the Santa Clara Valley Transportation Authority is currently constructing phase seven of its rail rehabilitation project. Under this program, the Half Grand Union at the intersection of Younger Avenue and First Street, the only access to Guadalupe Maintenance Yard will be reconstructed. The existing Half Grand Union track is embedded and comprises six number eight turnouts, three of which are powered and three of which are manual, as well as three diamond crossings. The Half Grand Union has 90-foot radius curved rail legs connecting tracks from First Street to Younger Street. The existing track structure is comprised of RI-59 embedded girder rail on a 9-inch reinforced concrete slab. The entire Half Grand Union will be reconstructed to match the existing track geometry using 115 RE T-Rail with restraining rail placed along sharp curves and all switches upgraded to powered type. New signal conduits and wiring as well as a new signal house will be installed to provide transition between existing girder rail and new T-Rail. Compromised rail plugs will be installed at the limits of the reconstructed track. Phase zero starts prior to track construction and maintains regular light rail schedule. After mobilization, a new OCS pole and two porcelain section insulators on the existing cross span for both tracks will be installed. A directional bore under existing tracks along First Street will be drilled and a 24 inch diameter casing installed. This casing will be used for new signal conduits and to connect the new signal house. Five signal vaults will be installed in this phase during the night shift shutdowns. During phase one, the southbound track will be shut down and the northbound track remain open, with no access to Guadalupe Yard. During this phase, West Younger Avenue will be closed to eastbound vehicular traffic. All other existing traffic flow will be maintained. The track activities of this phase will start with demolition of the top nine inches of track slab, removal of RI-59 girder rail and other track material, and cutting track anchor bolts. Signal conduits will be installed and the top of existing trackway base lab cleaned. Reconstruction of the track will continue with installation of a new insulating membrane, drilling of new track anchor bolts, and placement of steel base plates. Six by six welded wire mesh reinforcement will be installed and 115 RE rail with a track jacket system and adjustable rail hold down clips installed. Finally, concrete track slab will be poured and joint sealant installed. Irwin T3 switch machines will also be installed and switch machine blockouts connected to the main drainage system. During phase two, the southbound track will be shut down and northbound track remain open with no access to Guadalupe Yard. Work will be performed during weekend with all southbound First Street closed to all traffic except for right turns to West Younger Avenue. One number eight embedded powered turnout and HG1 track lag will be reconstructed with the same track construction sequence. In phase three, both the southbound and northbound tracks will be shut down although access to Guadalupe Yard will remain through the HG1 leg, reconstructed in the previous phase. Southbound traffic on First Street will remain open except for left turns to East Younger Avenue. During this phase, two diamond crossings and two number eight powered embedded turnouts will be installed along the northbound track on First Street. In phase four, the southbound and northbound tracks will be open and access to Guadalupe Yard shut down. Work will be performed during weekend with First Street closed to traffic except for right turns to Younger Avenue. During this phase, one diamond crossing and track legs HG2, HG3, and HG4 will be reconstructed. Reconstruction of the Half Grand Union will comprise new track structure with all switches powered and interlocked, 
to provide a longer lifespan to this intersection and improve access to the Guadalupe Yard facility.